An Indiana man is behind bars after a carjacking, high-speed chase, and an officer-involved shooting. Let's go out. Let's go out. Don't touch the gun. Hands out. Hands out. The incident began at about 4 p.m. on March 29th. That's when Indianapolis Dispatch received a 911 call for a carjacking. I'm at Georgetown at 56th Street. There's a front-end collision and a carjacking just happened here. A man crashed into me. He hit another car and headed into me and jumped out and carjacked a woman. Security camera footage shows a vehicle driven by 33-year-old Michael Barnes run a red light on the city's northwest side. A vehicle with the right-of-way crashes into Barnes before his vehicle crashes into another vehicle. Seconds later, Barnes climbs through the passenger side of his stalled vehicle and approaches a nearby vehicle with a gun. Barnes allows the woman to take a child out of the back seat before driving off with her car. What's the vehicle? The, this lady's car was carjacked. What's the vehicle? It's a 2014 Chevy Impala. It's, it's a 2014 dark gray Chevy Impala. Which way did it go? It went that way. Northbound Last seen going northbound. Does it have any damage okay. to it? No, my car is good, but I got my keys, so he's not going to get far. Okay. Body camera video shows an Indianapolis police officer arrive on the scene speaking with a carjacking victim. Did he have a gun or anything? He got a yes, gun. Yes, he, he let me get the baby off. off the car, but he walked up to me with the gun. He was trying to get out of the car. What did he you look could like? Tell he was running. He's white. He had blood all over. It's going to be a white male. It's going to be a confirmed carjacking. Within minutes, IPD officials locate the stolen vehicle. They attempt to pull Barnes over, but he runs multiple red lights, speeding upwards of 80 miles per hour. Officials finally catch up with Barnes when he stops his vehicle on an interstate on-ramp. Hey! Almost immediately, two separate officers open fire on Barnes after he points a gun at them. Zoomed in body camera footage shows Barnes pulling the weapon before officers open fire. A passerby also caught the incident on a dash cam recording showing Barnes pull out a weapon first. Body camera video shows what happens next after two officers fire their weapons. Hey guys, I'm gonna get a long gun out, okay? Still moving, still, hey, get still your moving. gun out. Still moving, still moving. Still reaching, still reaching. Still reaching. Hey, I'm moving on. Stay back, stay back. Hey, still reaching. Get his hands out, somebody get your man. Let me get on left lethal, sir. Get, get I got left lethal. Get one back here. Hey! His hands. Uh, Guys, he's got his hands up. I'm going to be. Stuart, come with me out. All right, I got Let's go hand. out. Let's go out. Okay, Don't touch the gun! Hands out! Hands out! Get someone with gloves. Come out with me. Get your hand away from the gun. Hands out. Investigators found a handgun laying on the ground next to Barnes as they approached. They then gave Barnes medical attention before paramedics arrived. He was taken to the hospital where he survived his injuries. Barnes now faces multiple charges, including pointing a firearm at another and resisting law enforcement. The officer involved shooting is still under investigation at this time. Reporting for Long Crime Network, I'm Sierra Gillespie.